For all three crafts, you're obviously going to need coffee beans. For the first craft, you'll need three small frames without glass, Mod Pod Shimmer Gold, a paintbrush, and glue. Cover the inside of your frame with glue. Pour some coffee beans onto the glue and press. Then hold the frame up so that the excess will fall off. If there are bigger gaps, add tiny coffee beans to fill those up. Let dry and do the same thing with the other two frames. The next step is what gives the bean on the left their warm sunny glow. Do you see the difference? Brush the shimmery Mod Podge onto your coffee beans. Make sure your glue is completely dry before doing this and apply a moderate amount. This will give your beans a beautiful glow that will make them look even more delicious. And since Mod Podge is both a varnish and a glue, it will add extra strength to your project. Do the same with your other frames. Once they're dry, you can hang them on the wall. For the second craft, you'll need raffia, a dozen or so little glass faces, copper glass paint, and a paintbrush. You'll also need a shoebox and some gold spray paint. Put some coffee beans in the shoebox and spray them gold. Let dry, turn them over and spray the other side. And let dry again. Paint the top edges of your little vases with the copper glass paint and let them dry. Once they're dry, fill them about halfway with both regular coffee beans and golden coffee beans. Grab a strand of raffia, make a loop and tie a knot. Leave a few inches open and wrap your strand around the neck of the face and tie a double knot. Leave a few inches open again and do the same thing. I want my bottles to alternate which way they face, so at first I tied them in the correct direction. But I notice that's not really necessary when you're going to hang it against the wall. So continue to do this until you have the amount of faces you want. When you run out of raffia, just add another strand by forming a knot. It won't be visible if you make sure to do the knot where you're tying it around the face neck. When you're finished, hang it up. For the third craft, you'll need new or leftover candles, a glass, a candle wick with metal base, and a hot glue gun. You'll also need a stove and some pots to melt your wax. Put some glue onto the candle wick base and place it in the glass. Melt your wax. When working with molds, it's best to use a double boiler system. But since we're just going to pour it into a glass, it's okay if the wax gets very hot. Just be careful. My candles aren't clean, so I'm purifying them by pouring the wax through a strainer with a sheet of paper tissue. For more detailed information, please check out my other candle making videos. Fill the glass with coffee beans and pour the wax on top. Once it's hardened, you can enjoy your coffee candle. I hope you enjoyed these crafts. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe. 
Thank you for watching. Bye!